there's certainly an, an opportunity out there now because um, you know, I think what we've seen is, is um, if you look at our experience at Imperial, um, lots of students, of course, want to move back on campus. Um, but a significant proportion of them, particularly in postgraduate, actually um, see the benefits of the flexibility afforded by online. And if you think if you take Imperial's experience and aggregate that across the sector, there's a significant um, increase in demand for online programs going forward. I think we're, many of us are seeing that again and again and again. So there is an opportunity. And then on the supply side, of course, we have um, increase, in, uh, increase in capability. Um, but I think the question that is, we, we were facing is who's going to seize that opportunity and who isn't? Um, so I had a, a conversation with our provost yesterday, and he, uh, he, his, his analogy that we, it was that we've stretched the elastic band. You know, we, you know the crisis happened. Um, we all moved into uh, crisis mode, and there's an incredible amount of innovation. Everyone was pushed out of their uh, comfort zone. Um, all our programs were delivered online very, very quickly. Um, but the question now is it seems to be beginning to bounce back. And the question is, um, how far would it bounce back and, uh, and for whom? So I think there's, a, there's an opportunity out there uh, for, for sure. Um, some institutions are going to seize it. Um, some might not. There might be new entrants coming in. And I think we really are sort of a pivotal moment um, right now, actually, in, in um, how to get to grips with this uh, opportunity or not.